If you found yourself unsure whether an article or headline you saw or shared was true, you are not alone. Researchers say uncertainty about the pandemic has created this environment of misinformation. In fact, a viral video called Plandemic had millions of views across Facebook and YouTube before it was taken down. Well, this spreading of misinformation is making it harder for healthcare workers to do their jobs. Joining now to discuss all of this is an emergency room physician, Dr. Larry Burchett. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. I know you are a traveling ER doctor. You've been to New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Currently, you're up in the Bay Area. So you are seeing it all firsthand. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's very different in California from the surge and how many people are getting sick in New York. Thankfully, in the Bay Area, there's not as many people, more in Los Angeles County, and we're worried that it's going up. And so listening to public health officials and taking this stuff seriously and going forward is still very important. Doctor, have you seen this documentary and those who have? Some claims are made, things like you should not be quarantined, you shouldn't be wearing a mask. All of this is a way for some to make money. This is a way to get people vaccinated. What do you say to these claims? Um, yes, I have seen this thing. It's quite the buzz. I've watched it and I've watched a lot of debunking stuff on it to get more information. Let me share with you some of the claims that are, it's the first thing I need to say is, absolutely do not change your behavior based on anything if you watch this documentary. It can be very persuasive. As a documentary, it's well done. It's very easy to sit down and, and be impressed by it. I was, and I'm a doctor. But there's so many things that when we take a closer look at it, really don't hold up and in fact aren't true. They're blatantly false. Let me, let me read some of them here. As I'm looking over this again, it's remarkable that they even put this stuff in there. Flu shots increase your risk of getting COVID by 36%. Absolutely not true that the flu shot gives you coronavirus. And we still want people to get the flu shot to protect against that. Flu shot is injected with coronavirus. Also, absolutely not true. And this is a big one that's caused a lot of controversy that is frankly dangerous and may be why YouTube pulled it down. Wearing a mask activates your own virus. Absolutely not. There is no evidence that wearing a mask makes you sicker, gives you coronavirus. If you've got it, makes you worse. If anything, the whole idea with the mask is that if you've got it, you're not transmitting it to other people. Those are absolutely false. Um, in the documentary, they also try to assassinate the character of Dr. Fauci. This guy has been the best, most science-based, trustworthy public figure we have. Please continue to trust him and listen to what he says and how he leads us through this pandemic. And to be fair, um, an article was written where they spoke to the, per the filmmaker and the filmmaker admitted they never contacted Dr. Fauci to get his take on some of these claims in this piece. I do want to move on to some other things. On social media, I'm seeing a lot of this information circulating and I want you to set it clear. Um, hearing that doctors are being pressured to list cause of death when someone goes to the hospital and uh, sadly passes away as COVID-19, that doctors and hospitals are making money off of this. Is this true? I, I don't, I mean, I have no experience of that. I, I, I can't imagine that administrators or, or uh, public health officials who are counting the number, that just makes no sense to me. It fits into the context of a conspiracy theory about trying to, you know, pump up the numbers of this thing. Does it really exist? Kind of questioning all of that. Um, you get reimbursed for the care that you provide. And the way that the government works, Medicare and reimbursement, is they bundle it all together. Coronavirus patients are very, very sick. They often require mechanical intubation, intensive care unit stays, a lot of medications, life support. Because of that, it's going to bill more than influenza that ends up in the hospital. That's just how Medicare works. It has nothing to do with some conspiracy that people are out to make money on coronavirus. That's absolutely not true. And, and, and if anything, 
I think hospitals are suffering money-wise because they're not able to do, they're not seeing as many patients in the ER, they're not able to do elective surgeries. That really doesn't make sense to me. This is not a money maker uh, in the short term, especially in California for hospitals. So doctor, what do you want people to know? What do you want them to do when it comes to believing or sharing misinformation and actual information? Well, I mean, of course, like, do your research. There's a lot of good debunking information that's fact-based, fact-checked on the internet right now that gives, you know, a context to all of these really baseless claims in this documentary. I would really hesitate. Absolutely do not do change your behavior based on this documentary at all. As always, talk to your trusted healthcare provider about what is best for you in your particular situation. Continue to wear your masks and follow whatever the current public health plan and strategy is. The other thing I would say, you know, is that it's normal to be kind of persuaded by this. We're in a very uncertain time. You know, it's, the message really seems to have changed a lot. Oh, this is like the flu. It's not like the flu. There's going to be 2 million deaths and then there's only 20,000 deaths. It's easy to be confused and not know what's right and then find this documentary and go, oh, wow, they seem really certain. These are not the folks that, that are trustworthy. Again, Fauci is the guy. This is a new virus. We're continually learning about things, learning about it every day, every week. This is going to continue to evolve. That's the nature of science and good medicine. Hang in there with us through this. Don't go to these conspiracy th theory folks who offer a very seductive other uh, interpretation of the world and what's going on right now. And, and the main reason for this is that, you know, not wearing your mask, changing some of these behaviors can be deadly for a lot. This thing is still out there. We still need to stick together and all do our part. Uh, and, and I would really don't, please don't propagate this thing and put it out there. If you want to have a discussion about it, I think that's great. I would strongly recommend, like I said, fact checking and putting some reliable sources with it. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. And you answer questions like this, topics like this you discuss in your podcast. We want people to know about that Corona Daily question and answers. This is available on Spotify. Be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for your time. You're right in the middle of it all, the thick of it um, in these ER rooms. Uh, safety and health to you. And thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all the information this morning. Enjoy chatting. Stay safe.